You're watching KBOI 2 News this morning. Treasure Valley High School students have the need. That need for speed in an area track lets them put the pedal to the metal. Kids just love going fast and they can do it legally here. For 41 years, Firebird Raceway in Eagle has hosted a high school racing league. This is my first time ever doing it. I'm pretty, I'm, my heart's pounding, I'm ready, I'm, I'm excited. It's competitive and fun to get to represent your school and where you come from. There's more to it though than just going from point A to point B in a straight line. That's the same route they hope students of the program take so they don't get left in the dust. Some have gone on to all kinds of uh, opportunities from racing or just other opportunities that present themselves. Like the Nampa School District, which garages an automotive program. Our main focus uh, is to train our, our students to go into the automotive industry uh, uh, after high school. Sunday marked the first leg of the four race season. There's a big school in little school division. Middleton and Emmett won the team titles last season and started this year out in front but there's plenty more time to get the green light. And today there's been over 20,000 students racing our high school program. And the Northwest Nazarene baseball team earned a conference crown, but that's where the season will end. Despite winning the GNAC tournament, the Crusaders were not selected for the NCAA Division II tournament. The conference won't get an automatic bid until 2018, so NNU finishing their year 30 and 21. Now, NNU fought all year, but there was a different fight in the majors between Texas and Toronto when Blue Jay Jose Batista slides hard into Ranger Rubio Odor, and then this happens. Odor nails Batista in the face. They were both ejected, as were six others. There's been animosity between the two teams since they faced each other in last year's playoffs. That's your morning sports. Have a great day.